Hello everyone, Aaron here from Aaron's Garage. And for many of you, you've probably been caught in a situation off guard when your car just suddenly blows a freaking hose off. So here's the scenario. You're heading to Easter Sunday dinner at Grandma's. You're about 20 miles in the middle of nowhere. You lose that radiator hose that you knew was going bad about six months ago. Luckily for you, you had one in your trunk. And you're even smart enough to carry one of those 23-in-1 multi-tools in your pocket. But you forgot that one important ingredient. You don't have anything to put back in your radiator. And that coolant is bone dry. Let's use our noodle. Let's get creative here. Let's do a little bit of digging around. See if we can find something we can utilize as some form of coolant in this car. Well, Grandma loves her sweet little soda pops. Luckily for you, you weren't too drunk when Grandma called and asked you to bring the sodas. So you remembered. And this is all you have to dump in your car. So, what's going to happen if we put this in the motor? Well, you know how we do things on Aaron's Garage. Let's find out. And always remember when you're topping off your coolant with soda, make sure you allow the fizz to go back down a little bit before topping off. starting to piss soda so we know we're full make sure that's good and tight to be completely honest I have a good feeling that this is going to turn into a complete disaster please do not do this at home this is probably going to result in a lot of hot sticky soda potentially dangerous hot sticky soda going everywhere this can cause injury. Again, do not do this at home. Well, she took off three liters. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, we're running, we're idling. I'm gonna turn the heat on. And let's see what happens. quickly. 
this thing revved up to get her hotter faster and boy it didn't take long to get the full temperature let's see if we're gonna make it to grandma's house and I mean this thing got hot quick and we are now starting to run hotter than normal I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm starting to see some smoke out from under the hood. I got a camera set up under there. Hopefully it's okay where it's at. Okay, definitely not happy. We are pushing Pepsi out of the cooling jug. I'm going to take a few steps back. I've also backed the car away from the garage. We're going to put the camera back and keep on running and see what happens. We're starting to run a little hot now, guys. What's really surprising is that we're running a little hotter than normal, but we're not overheating. And we're cruising right along to Grandma's house. This is a bit insane. This is going on 15 minutes of me holding my foot at about half throttle. As you can see, we're not really running terribly hot. I got heat coming out the vents. We're not overheating. I'm running it the same way you'd be if you're running down the road. By now, I believe we'd be at grandma's house or pretty damn close. Soda seems to be doing the job. I was expecting like a hose to swell up and blow off or something, you know, it's carbonated soda product. I mean, this was not supposed to be an episode of Mythbusters. I mean, this was supposed to just go bad really quick. Other than Carl running like total ass and running a little bit hot, I'm going to conclude this as a total wash. We made it to Grandma's. She's upset that we didn't have any Pepsis or sodas or Mountain Dews or whatever. But she'll just have to settle for sweet tea that Aunt Mary Beth brought. I guess Carl was now going to be officially cooled with soda pop. He eats food, so why not? I mean, I'm kind of at a loss. It's just sitting there running, not doing anything. We have a radiator in a block full of soda pop. I drained the radiator and pulled the plug on the block for this experiment. 
And I think all I've done so far is proven to the world you can pour soda in your car. Okay, let's see if we can safely remove that cap off that coolant reservoir and see what we find. It smells like burnt soda. Here's the stuff. I'm gonna wait for that to settle down. And we'll take it the rest of the way off. It's safe to say that it's not as effective as genuine antifreeze, but did it work? Yeah, <laughs> it got us home. All right guys, thanks for joining in to this episode of Aaron's Garage. And please, again, don't try this at home.